Hello everyone, I'm here today with the most tragic news. My Minecraft city, known as Morg City, has been plagued by constant pranks and harassment for these past few weeks. And not just Morg, because I personally am getting bullied and harassed as well every time I log in to the wonderful SMP. And frankly, I am at my wits end. All I have to say is I am done. Morg is done. I must fight back to teach these heretics a lesson on why they do not trifle with me or my beautiful city. I will defend the great and illustrious Morg City till my last breath, and I shall not let the desecration of my precious David go unanswered. So today, my precious viewers, get ready, because I, we, shall strike back firmly and harshly. We will show them that Morg is the superpower on this server and is not to be trifled with. Now then, once again, hello guys, it's me, Betel again. I know, you see David behind me, absolutely decimated. Um, this is no, this is no laughing matter, guys. Let me just say, it's no laughing matter. And, um, today, starting with Mars Botanist, best Mars Botanist, mind you, um, we are going to be getting back at these evildoers, these rapscallions, and dare I say, these absolute hellions. Gremlins, even. So, I hope you guys are ready, because I think I'm ready for some revenge now, to be honest. I mean, this is dis despicable, in all honesty. Okay, guys, as you can see, just exited the portal to our first victim's uh, whereabouts. This is Best Mars Botanist's base. I'm at 4 motor fast. Lots of potato action, as you can see, for our lovely potato woman resident of the server. Um, lovely area too, by the way. Too bad though. I'm about to be making it a little bit, um, less beautiful, let's just say. You'll see in a minute. Let's just say I have something planned for right, ooh, wrong way, right about here. <laughs> I'm excited to show you guys this. Let's see how it goes. Okay, guys, here is my ingenious prank right before your eyes. The potatoes will die. Yes, this is my master plan. But I know what you guys are thinking. Betel, this is really anticlimactic to uh, what you said a minute ago. Well, um, ladies and gentlemen, what's this, uh, feast our eyes upon where this TNT actually came from? You can see a little bit right there, but. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. That's right, guys. Got a frickin' fighter jet. Morg City Edition. Now, I was gonna do some like live TNT dropping, but that would be a pain in the ass. So, not happening. Hey, it's a curse word. I don't care. Might bleep that out, might not. <laughs> Shout out to you guys. But, anyways, a little throat clear. This is the B 52 bomber with no windows, by the way. And, uh, well, as you can see, it's bombing this, um, it's a uh, evil potato patch for the evil potato gremlin who pranked me. Let no potato survive, I say. Yes. Go, my little gremlins. Kick the TNT down there now. But guys, this is just the beginning of a very, very long conquest. And let, let me tell you something. I feel like I'm changing. Not for the better either. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But uh, we'll see. We'll just we'll have to see about that. On to the next victim, though, shall we? <laughs> okay, guys. Looks like we're being challenged once again. Hey, Betel. I have so much oil. Smiley face. Take it if you can. XOXOXO. Ocean Flan. Uh, a little more. P.S. You are very handsome. Hmm. Oh, why, thank you. I know. I get it from uh, myself. And uh, a little more. No, seriously, what hair? Getting a little, <laughs> getting a little personal here, buddy. Um... You have a Saint Laurent for him. Um, anyways, that's not important. What is important, though, is take the oil. I like oil. Where's the oil that ocean? I'm... Well, you said if you can. Well, I think we know the answer if I can or not. Just uh, come out with your hands up, ocean. It's okay. And uh, we'll talk from there. Okay? Oh, and just in case you think I'm bluffing and this isn't really my ship, well... 
seeing an awful lot of cyan and uh oh what, what's that i i unhinged from my body oh oh what's this what's this what's the, what's that what's that right there the uss Badal. oh my god that is amazing i have a whole battleship freaking named after me do you have a battleship named after you ocean i didn't think so i didn't think so so uh just hand off that oil now buddy please thank you thank you okay next up on the chopping block co now um he didn't really prank me recently at least but uh i feel like well i didn't feel like i owed him something but i turned it into a prank instead so as you can see we have behold the sleeping competition because he thinks it's funny to steal my title of the sleeper hell no here's your new title theo you are the snoozer because you're second place baby and uh first place to the sleeper Badal og aka the og sleeper also uh ocean bleh, ocean got a, a double whammy today uh there he is uh he got third place <coughs> loser and um he's the insomniac because uh i don't know i guess it's pretty hard to sleep with those dark soulless eyes it's a little sus there there's me stiff as a freaking sarcophagus same with theo actually Theo's looking a little bloated there need to fix that maybe but anyways enough of this this is just a little silly one to break up all the <laughs> all the war but something's still wrong with me i feel like i think i don't know i'm going crazy i think guys <laughs> on to the next one though because trust me this last one oh this last one it's gonna top all the Maybe not the sleeping competition. I feel like this is gonna be the best. Hello, dog. But, um, you guys will see what's coming. <laughs> they think they can stop me. No one can stop me. The turtles. They must be farmed. All of them. Every last one of them. I hunger. I have a desire for the exotic scutes that they drop. But, there's a little rat interrupting my operation, you see. Mythical moon. How could... Not even how could you. I will show you. I'll show you the art and what I'm doing. You will learn. You will have to make your choice. <laughs> okay, guys. There she is. The evil. The evil, evil moon. She thinks she can stop me, huh? Well, I want to teach her a thing about pain. Wake up, Moon. Wake up! <laughs> Where am I? Hello, Moon. I want to play a game. You think Hello. you're so clever trying to stop me from farming all my turtles. But oh, oh, you go so wrong. Before you is a single turtle egg, as well as a lava pit. Whose life do you value more? The choice is yours. <laughs> oh no. Egg for me. Egg for me. Egg. <laughs> so you made your choice. Congratulations on winning the game. Before you is once again another choice. Your life or the eggs. There is a button connected to the oh, wall no. connecting some TNT to a very unfortunate group of turtles. The choice is yours. Make it. Babies, I am so sorry. I hope you understand. <laughs> Congratulations on living. Most people are oh so unthankful to be alive, but you aren't. You and your turtles are definitely <laughs> thankful to be alive still, for now. Before you is a lava pit with three turtle legs that serve as parkour platforms for you. Will you be able to jump on them willingly to save yourself from the lava below? The choice is yours. <laughs> well, guys, 
the Bademeister wins once again. This is what this what this what you get for not listening to the rules. All turtle legs could have been saved here theoretically. The first one, you could have just put a different block in front of the dispenser. I mean observer. My bad. Second one, you didn't have to blow up the eggs at all. There was actually a, a different way to open the door. But you said to break the button, and then you could have put it by the door, and all turtle eggs could have lived. Oh, and this one. This one was so obvious. As you can see, you just have to jump on those first hey, two. Hey, Um, hello? 